Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray, brought to you proudly by Tennessee Wildlife Resource Agency, Barton Power Sports, Sportsman's Warehouse, and Best Care Home Services. Hey, good Saturday morning. Welcome back to Outdoors with Larry Ray. And no, this is Larry Ray finally uh, doing a. a yeah, we're going to let you do something. Let me today. do something I've been there. Sitting but over I, all morning. Sitting over here all night. morning, uh, putting Bill Cooksey and. Uh, Dave Gavin, and then, of course, Gene Smith is sneaking in every once in a while with one of his, uh, uh, and, and really, we haven't, uh, do you have anything really that we need to pass along to the audience that you thought about, Gene, before we go into this next interview? Uh, like what? Hunting accidents? Well, no. I mean, like one of your stories. You have a short oh, story? Yeah, I have a short story. All right. We can do that. All right. This uh, bounty hunter was down in Mexico trying to find uh, Juan Valdez. Yes. He had robbed a lot of banks and things, and yep. the guy wanted to get his, get the money back. So he went down there, and he saw the guy sitting in the saloon. He said, are you Juan Valdez? He said, no, speak it in English. So he went to this young man at the bar, and the, he said, can you interpret it for me? He said, oh, yeah. He, he said, well, you go over and tell him, if you don't tell me where the gold is he's he, hid, I'm going to blow his head off. He said, okay, I'll go over and tell him. So old Juan, he was getting tired of being an outlaw anyway. So he told the young man, you go down to the road about two miles. This well has a great big old stone. I put all my gold underneath that. And he said, you just go ahead and tell him what I said. And uh, the man said, well, what did he say? He said, he said go ahead and shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, my. I know that's a tough act to follow, but uh, Juan Valdez is, uh, has left over there. He's left the building, but uh, we have to have those words of wisdom from Gene Smith at least once a month and um, twice a month this morning, I think. But, uh, hey, let's switch up to uh, Lake Truman in Missouri up there uh, where there's an American Crappie Trail tournament going on. And we have the man himself. Uh, uh, do we have that? Uh, do we have his song ready? Are we ready for his song? He, all, right, all right, go ahead and play the song. Here we, no, that's not his song. No, that's the wrong song. No, try another song. He has many songs. All right, yeah. He's, Hit that other one. That's because he's bipolar. Yeah, that's it. All right, let's hear it. Here we go. There he is. That's it. That's Ron Wong's song. Good morning. <laughs> Thank you, Shelby. <laughs> that is Ron Wong's. I like the other one, too, though. Now, he might be part of that. And he, I don't know if he's in the band at Westwood High or not. But, uh, yes, Ron, I was. I thought he was. Hey, Ron Wong is up at uh, the American Cropper Trail Tournament, and, uh, and he's got a special guest with him up there that uh, I'm glad there is someone with Ron to interpret what he says. Okay, and so uh, <laughs> tell us what's going on, Ron, on this the last day of the tournament, and who you got with you. Well, good morning, everybody. Uh, I am in uh, Clinton, Missouri, uh, on the shores of uh, Lake Truman, and oh my gosh, the weather is so nice. High of the high 70s. I Woo! mean, what Woo! a relief from the heat. And, of course, I have the opportunity yes. in working with the American Crappie Trail. And it's, uh, and you all have heard of Matt Morgan. Uh, well, yes, we have. We've got his better half, Ooh. the brains of oh, yeah. the American Crappie Trail, co-owner of the Crappie Trail, Angie Morgan with us. Good morning, Angie. Good morning. All right, he's fired up, Angie. I don't know. Y'all been feeding him well up there, I think. You know, uh, you need to cut back on caffeine a little no, bit no, there, No, no, cut Ron. back on caffeine. It's too early for Ron to be that active. Hey, Angie, thank you for being with us. And Ron uh, and Angie also, uh, you're getting in. Now, Now this event, Ron, tell me about this because you're getting pretty close to the big one, right? Well, actually... There are there's one more event left okay. for this year one for more the event. American Crappie Trail. Okay. Uh tournament trail. And um after that, after this last event, the championship will be held a week and a half, two weeks after the Bassmaster Classic, which kinda kicks off the uh crappie. Uh, it does. Tournament season yeah. in uh -huh. March of 2019 All right. on Lake Darbone. I, I just wanted you to say that. I just wanted you to say that word. I, I know Angie can pronounce it very well and everything, but uh, let me. Let, uh, Angie, what about it now? You, you and your husband have been uh, 
Uh, is, this has really been uh, an amazing uh, kickoff with what you guys are doing. What's What are you base your success on? Absolutely. I mean, my husband crappie fished for years, and he just wanted to bring something new and exciting to the crappie world. So we're trying to step it up a little bit. Uh, every event, we give away a new ranger boat, plus we pay back over 100% of the entry fees back to the anglers. So um, the guys are fishing for a lot more than they're used to fishing for. Yeah. And, you know, when we, when we go to run these events, we're trying to run them in, you know, the most professional, transparent manner possible so that, you know, these guys, they, they look forward to coming back and fishing. They know what they're fishing for. They know where every dollar goes. Um, and it's great to see the support of, of these anglers. I don't think there's been very many negative comments. Everybody I've talked to, and, and Ron, you know this, uh, uh, this is something that's been uh, on your heart to have develop. And uh, from your point of view, this is just going to get bigger, right? Uh, no doubt about it, uh, that it is going to get bigger. You know, it's kind of, um, you know, we have in the fishing world tournaments, all over for different kind of species and everything. Yeah. You know, and I look at the American Crappie Trail to be on the level in terms of, you know, the type of anglers, the anglers they have, to the BASS elites and the FLW Tour. Well, Ron, um, no, no, Ron, that's, you know, that's big time. When you look, at, yes, when you look at uh, the participants that the American Crappie Trail has garnered over – their year and a half, almost two years of existence, mm-hmm. they have uh, essentially the top ten crappie anglers in the world fishing on their trails. Wow. And, I mean, you know, when you talk about the Ronnie Caps, the Steve Coleman's, uh, the Tim Blackies, uh, uh, J- uh, Kent Driscoll, yes. Mighty Outlaws, I mean, you go on and on and on and on. And, and, you know, as I talk to some of these guys and, and a lot of these participants, you know, I ask them, why do you want to fish this particular crappie trail? And they, they say, well, you know, it's the best of the best and you're fishing against the best. Yeah. But the other part of it, as Matt Morgan had once said, you know, on any given day, anybody can win one of these tournaments. And you know, last month we talked to the Kennedy Stewart, yeah, the Stewart, from yeah, Clinton, yeah, from Clinton, Mississippi, that won on the Washita River with his son. Uh, and you know, yeah. so it, it's 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 excellent competition. And there's one more event that's coming up. And Angie, tell us a little bit about registration deadlines and stuff yeah. for the upcoming event in September. Yeah, absolutely. So we have our last chance qualifier coming up at Grenada Lake on All right. September 14th and 15th. So that's going to be big. Lots of big fish to be weighed in there at Grenada. Um, yes. Our off-limits period is August 31st through September 9th. Okay. And September 9th is your last day to sign up. And this is a Grenada, folks. This is the big one yep. down. You want to catch a big fish? Uh, that's the place to go. And before we let you guys go, I, I, uh, talking about this, and we'll get with Ron about next week's show, but I know that I've heard, Angie, that this thing doesn't run without you, okay? I don't, don't. It don't, doesn't. Don't back she down on me. She the heartbeat. Yes, yes. Uh, I think we would need a uh, a stent or maybe some new work on your heart if it didn't have that because, uh, and I'm just telling you, I, not, Ron hadn't told me all this, but I've heard it from all the anglers. Uh, that you, you keep it running. So you just tell your husband just to take it easy, okay? So, all um, right. Well, I appreciate that. All right, Angie. <laughs> thank you for joining us, okay? Thank you. All right. Ron, let's uh, let Angie get out of here, and let's talk about next week uh, before we close it out with the guys in the studio. Really special show for next week, right? We got, Larry, I am so excited about next week. Uh, you know, it's the week before the Forest Wood Cup out of Hot Springs, Arkansas, and Lake Washita. Yep. And, uh, you know, this is, again, the best of the best. And I think we're going to have the best of the best uh, on the our preview show. Mark Rose is going to kick it off for us. Angler of the Year, How Mark about Rose. that? Angler of the How Year. How about that? Yes, yeah. Angler of the Year, Mark Rose, 
from Marion, soon to be out of Forest City, that's Arkansas. That's right. Yeah, I think it's real soon. Kick it off. Yeah, real soon. You know, <laughs> we're going to have Todd Castledine on there. Okay. And just real quickly about Todd Castle Castledine. Uh, one of the, he's a striking and a coast uh, fisherman, pro fisherman. Well, so he was the mastermind between the KVD pet twist. Yeah, that's right. And the and the hack attack, hack pack attack. crasher. Oh, I love that one. <laughs> That's my favorite. Strike King. So yeah, we're so. gonna have him on. He's we're also a heck of a guy. Brian yes, on. Yes. Who is uh. Who wa- who came in? I think second or third. Yes, he did. Washita three years ago. Uh, we're going to have Cody Meyer on. All right. One of our West Coast guys on. We've had him on. We've had him on. with Larry Ray before. Yes. And we've got an up and comer. This guy's been fit FLW tour for I think five years. Out of his five years, he's qualified for the Forestwood Cup. Four times. Not bad. And that's Jeff Sprague. Hey, Jeff. Okay, this is all on next week's show. we got to get out and run. That'll be on next week's show. And me and Ron on that show will make our picks. Okay? We're going to yes, make we our will. picks. We're going to be like bird dogs, huh? No, no, bird dogs. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Ron. <laughs> Talk to you next week. Be safe, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. All right, Ron Wong, next week's show. Hey, guys, thank you all for being here. I, know, I just, uh, I've, I've got a kind of somber announcement. Yeah, you know, I'm, that's what I'm coming to. Turkeys are down. No, no, already no, heard. no it's this just, is a, you know, worse than that. You know, uh, we listen. lost a major, we major did. asset in TWRA's family. This past week. This past week, Paul Brown. Yes. Our longtime manager. Our it's real wildlife foot. manager over the real foot. I called it the Northwest Territory. <laughs> you know, yeah. Paul passed away this week. Yes, he did. You know, after kind of an extended illness. Yeah. And, he, he is going to be sorely missed because I know of nobody that knows more about the hydrology, Paul. the history, the politics yes, involved he yeah. in Real Foot Lake. And he stood his ground. He stood his he ground. He was a man of his word and uh, one of yeah, those man. guys that I got to know when I first uh, got into this thing. And uh, uh, prayers go out to the family and everything. And uh, and they've got to fill that position. Yeah. Now, it'll be hard to fill that position you know, uh, from uh, Paul was talking about retiring, and before I retired, I was in Nashville talking to Director Carter, mm. and he was talking about people in the region retiring. I said, yeah, Paul said something about it. He says, man, he says, I hope not. I you hope know, not. He's my yeah. right-hand man. Yeah, he okay, was out in that so, field. He, his job so, was 24-7. So now the mantle's been passed to Jeff Martin. Jeff, you know, is just one of those other persons yes. that know. You know, they knew it all. Hang in there, Jeff. We you need know, you. Okay. But, uh, don't, don't, don't. But I want to express, you know, my condolences. Yes. All right. To Paul's family and everything because uh, he'll be missed. He will be missed. Yeah. Thank you, Dave. And uh, thank you for being here with us today. And uh, Dave's getting ready to head out to to the big uh, the big shoot. Yeah, the World yeah. Trap Shooting Championship. And speaking of That's shooting, right. I, I brought a gun to give Dave because Dave's always been good to me on our – Monkey and pony shows. He drug me here and there and everywhere. So I got a th- 31 caliber muzzle of the flintlock I'm going to give him on the show. Yeah, we're going to p- post a picture of that on the website, yeah. LROutdoors.com. You're going to have to uh, raise the rib, though, before yeah. you take it yeah, north. You know. Yeah, and, that's. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, Gene, uh, I've been looking at that gun for a long time. Gene won that gun shooting. He did? Yeah. Well, and, uh, thank you, Gene. I, I know he appreciates, uh, Dave appreciates that. Uh, thank you, Bill, for being with us. Enjoyed it. Straight in it. And, of course, a moment of silence as Greg Ratliff leaves the building. <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah. Wish, you know he w- was clean shaven when he first showed yeah. up. Yeah, he was taller, too. <laughs> I think he was, you know. So, Greg, thank you uh, for your service to Outdoors of Larry Ray. He's going to be at uh, KWAM over there at 730. Is uh, that 990. Uh, on your dial, he's going to be running everything over there. So if you see so any, let you wear your hockey jersey if he, in the wintertime? he can wear what he wants okay. to. He's the boss, you know, and everything like that. Thank you, Greg. thank you, Greg. Shelby McCall is now in the saddle. In the saddle, she has not sat down since she's been here for two weeks now. So we're going to have to get her a higher chair, maybe a high chair or something like <laughs> Little that. Little does she know. Little does she know, Greg. <laughs> I hope you know. You've told her, right? Yeah. All right. This is Larry Ray reminding you I do each and every week. It doesn't cost an extra cent to be a good sport, and what? And God, God bless, bless the USA. USA.